You're gonna be under arrest. For what? For not listening to me. I, I, I think the emergency it is the video, somebody's video taken. Okay. And the shirt says, I believe, balls deep. He says his name is Captain Awesome. <laughs> Hey guys, Rogue Nation here with you tonight, and um, man oh man, are the people of Saltville going to be salty when their taxes go up after this incident here? Um, I was sent this in my email, got the video, also a copy of a uh, news article that was written about this. Uh, this is from Hilltop News. Um, he was here at the Saltville town meeting. There was a press table set up, and he sat at the press table, and they decided that they were going to define who a journalist is and who the press is, and that Hilltop News was not press. And so when he refused to move from the press table, you guys will see it here. It's a short video. It's only about four and a half minutes long. And then afterwards, we're going to take a look at just a small part of the article, and then we're going to go over some case law that I wanted to bring up about this situation. All right? So let's go ahead and watch the video, and then we'll get into the other stuff. And, uh, I'm independent. I do. I do. I'm I'm press I'm press I'm press. How 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 do you how do you get a badge for a press? Who do you get it from? You're not employed by them. You gotta be employed by. Yeah, I've got more subscribers than you. I bet you I do. I bet you I do. I got more subscribers than they do. Like I said. Look, everybody, it says press. I've got a press pass right here. Look, I'm, look, look, I'm going to video this thing for my news channel, and I'm press. The First Amendment gives me the right to independent press. They can, if they want a video, they can. I've got, I've got plenty. I've got plenty of subscribers that are wanting me to video this live, which well, what sure we're doing now. Want you to video. You want video back there. I'm videoing with the press. That's where they're at. If I move, they should. Legitimate press. I am legitimate press. I've had I've had the press for over three years now. I have fifty years of experience. Well, good for you. Well, good for you. I swear. I want I want a video of these people where it says press. Right here's fine. It says press. For what? What how am I just what am I doing? What am I doing? Why did you go to Chihuahua with the town manager? Really? You don't know what I'm talking about? You've never been in Chihuahua? I've been to Alley, yeah, but not with the mayor. Nice. I've already heard that complaint. That's the only Who? Well, who'd you hear from? I heard from somebody here in the box. Really? Yeah. I wonder who. <laughs> Look, I'm, I, I have been impressed for a long time. I've got my badge. The first, the first amendment. You swore an oath to. I made it. <laughs> well, good for you. Who 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 issues who issues press passes? No, they don't. Yes, they do. The First Amendment gives everybody freedom freedom of the press. Yeah. That's the case. Everybody here. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. The First Amendment. Look it up. Everybody here would be on the press. Look it up. You have a you have a lawyer right there. And he's gonna tell you right now. You have a lawyer right there that said that knows the First Amendment, and if y'all violate my First Amendment, it's a you get sued. So that's why I'm asking you. You got an attorney right there. Well, I'm telling you right now, you fix no jail for this. Tell, ask the the attorney. You can move back out right ask, now. Ask the attorney right there. I mean, just he's right there. He's representing us. He's not stopping us. I know. He's representing us. You're not? 
press. Get back in the regular gallery for everybody else. Excuse me. Are you there? Where's he at? Are you the attorney? I was just wanting to Let's get a, advice from you. Let's go. We're going to jail for disorderly conduct. Let's go. For what? Disorderly conduct. Get up your stuff. Give you enough opportunity, enough chance. All righty. We held the meeting long enough. I tried to get you moved back multiple times. Let's go. Right. Let's go. We don't recognize that pass. He's refusing to listen to us. Oh, that's definitely, the meeting. definitely true. Chance by the back. Mm -hmm. Putting uh, putting cuffs on me because I'm a member of the press. There you go. I got a phone. Right, put, put your phone down. I'm going to set it right here. Okay. Set it right here. I'm going to. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Yeah. Don't turn it off. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, you seen the video. Disgusting actions by these podunk cops so uh, let's get into this article here um, we're just going to read a little bit of it uh, and it says mayor young said that for the 18 years he has served the town the press table has been there for the saltville progress and Smythe county news and messenger Teresa keller a professor of mass communications at emory and henry college said the scenario is a complicated one on one hand, she said, if a locality wants to choose who it deems members of the media, or if it wants to designate seating for certain publications, there should be a written and consistent standard on the matter. Because otherwise you have the situation that happened in Saltville. An officer is standing there trying to arrest a guy and he really can't explain why. Keller said. The flip side of that, she said, is that when the government starts defining who's a journalist, then you get problems. So, and she's absolutely right. Whenever you start trying to define who is and who is not members of the press, there's going to be an issue. Even the Supreme Court hasn't defined who a journalist is. Uh, you can look in Brandsburg v. Hayes. They talk about it specifically there, and they say, look, there's so many people that could qualify to be press uh, because they serve the uh, dissemination aspect of it. And we're going to get into just what is the press um, according to the courts. And from what I understand, the courts use Von Bulo, Von, uh, Von Bulo versus Von Bulo out of the Second Circuit. And this is what they have to say on who is. It says this qualified right, which results in the journalist privilege, emanates from the strong public policy supporting the unfettered communication of information by the journalist to the public. Second, whether a person is a journalist and thus protected by the privilege must be determined by the person's intent at the inception of the information gathering process so and, and i know the trolls would have never found this on their own i hate to be giving this to them but this is where everybody gets the i'm gathering content for a story okay in order to qualify as a journalist you have to be doing journalistic activities you have to say that that is your intent just as it says right here in this court case okay um, third an individual successfully may assert the journalist privilege is if he is involved in activities traditionally associated with the gathering and dissemination of news even though he may not ordinarily be a member of the institutionalized press so three and four or two and three those are the ones that apply to us fourth the relationship between the journalist and the source may be confidential that has nothing to do with what we are doing per se now if you have confidential sources feeding you information um and you're uh, putting that on your your channel then fourth and looks like fifth is going to be applying to you but uh, for our purposes uh second and third 
okay and basically it's been said that if you have an opinion a belief a thought and a means to disseminate that to the public then you are engaged in journalistic activities even if we were just out recording these public buildings and we're doing nothing but narrating giving our own thoughts um, about what's going on which most of us do anyway uh, that is a journalistic activity so um, these guys really messed up out here in Saltville I know they're gonna be real salty about it when they get served but I mean you know this, this stuff's common sense man they gotta they gotta shape it up all right guys thanks for watching um, thanks for sticking around after the video to hear about this and uh, we'll see you on the next one all right